Hi Aquarius and welcome to this bonus love reading for you all. So I'm going to do a general love reading first of all for singles and then we'll look at your energy and the person on your mind's energy. Feel free to flip the energies, they can come out reversed. Remember this is general and won't resonate with all of you so take what's yours and leave the rest. So this is for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, wow, we've got four out of six major arcana. So this is a powerful time for a lot of you. The universe intervening. Um, it's showing spiritual lessons. It's coming through here. The end of a karmic chapter, karmic lessons. Some of you have been through. Some of you might have been really feeling down in the dumps recently, um, in terms of your love life, you know, not really seeing what's out there for you, but you've got this cup up here that's on offer. So keep your eyes open, Aquarius. Try not to focus too much on the past, stay positive. really do feel healing for a lot of you here. Your own energy has come out here, the star. You've got the most positive card in the deck, the sun. So this is showing a positive change in your love life. Your destiny. Wow. A lot of happiness with these two. Happy times. You might meet this person socially, at a bar, social event. I'm really getting summer for some of you. For some of you it's through a musical event. Some of you have been very attached to someone energetically and you're really trying to purge, release, find balance, focus more on yourself for your own card to come out actually. Um, this could be a spiritual connection though I feel for some of you. But you know the ego can step in sometimes and make us feel obsessed. That's what I'm getting here. Um, but that's coming to an end, I feel, for a lot of you. You've healed, you've realised your worth. The Three of Cups can show a reunion, so for some of you this is possible. If you've learnt these lessons, which I feel you have with all these major arcana. We've got someone here on your mind. Someone you're manifesting with the moon. You might work with the moon in your manifestations. This is someone at a distance from you. You're not talking. For some of you, they are in your life, they're sort of around you, and you're quite interested in this person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Capricorn, Aquarius. 
I'm just seeing this destined connection, to be honest, really coming through with these two cards. Yeah, someone sincere. Two of Cups, Soulmate, Twin Flame, Energy. Someone very loyal. There might have been someone else in the picture. With the three, and we've got three energies here. So someone needs to make a decision and they go towards their happiness. Number two, again, for a decision in love. A lot of you have really purged. There's, there's someone you're missing. I, I keep getting that in this spread, but you're not with this person. Okay, for others of you, you might meet this person online if you've not met them already. Okay, so let's look at your energy then, first of all. Okay, wow. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> we got some of the same cards. That's for a reason. So, the sun, the first card, is showing this positive shift in your love life. Coming out of this sadness, loneliness, missed opportunities. Some of you have been guided to put yourself out there, shine your light. You're very spiritual. Here's your energy again. I'm really, I'm, I'm just really feeling this cleansed energy come over me here. Happiness within, balanced. You've purged a lot, released a lot. And you might have seen the King of Pentacles flew out over the top, so this is showing commitment is potential with this person. I feel twin flames, divine masculine energy there. Some are very committed. They're seeing signs about you. They're being guided to you. There are some things they might be hiding. Um, from you. I feel eventually they open up, but initially I'm just getting a bit of holding back from this person. This person wants to see you. They're, they're coming through in your energy here. It's amazing. I feel that in the 5D, you've healed this connection. You've met in your dreams. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius. So let's see your person's energy. It's interesting, we've got two tens. Showing an ending, a new beginning. They've been very burdened, maybe in a commitment. I'm just getting that they come out of that. We've got single energy coming through here. They 
focus on their happiness, really focus on their work and their mission. There's a lot of passion between you and this person. That's what I was saying before. Notice the fire here. And the wand is all about passion. But notice his hand, you know, it's sort of hiding something there. Um, he's holding back, he or she. Wow, we've got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, very strong power couple here. This person is spying on you. It's like they, they feel this is their destiny, but they're, they're off balance though at the moment with that Ten of Wands. But with the Ten of Pentacles, they see you in their future. Yeah, there's obstacles in the way at the moment. As I was feeling, could be finances. They're just they're very focused on the material world, but they miss you. And in divine timing, they may send you a gift. There's going to be an ending in their life of some sort. Someone very loyal here, very protective. See, this is interesting when we look at imagery, the way it comes through. Notice his hand now is open and here it's closed, hiding something. So at the moment they've got something they're hiding, they're going through that they don't really want to tell you. They don't want to reach out yet. They want to put that behind them first. And then, when they've done that, they're going to be open and tell you what they've been through. Wow. We've got 31 breaks down to a 4 for commitment, stability, divine masculine energy again. Here is Leo Sagittarius coming through there. Wow. Okay, yeah, bottom of the deck, financial constraints. It's interesting I said that. I feel that's a block. 13 breaks down to a four. So, yeah, I mean, you know, if they're leaving someone, they might lose their home. They might lose a job. This has been part of their journey, their spiritual journey, lessons they've had to go through, same for you. Number two, number of partnership. They will make a decision and move towards their door to personal healing and happiness. It's beautiful. You're both blessed seeing signs, could be birds for some of you. Now this card it's sort of, it was like sideways really. Um, man holding a coin, which is the King of Pentacles. But they're struggling at the moment financially. Um, they can't commit at this time. But they will do. We've got the sun in the background for this blessing on the way. We've got 34, 43. You might be seeing those sort of back-to-back -back numbers showing mirroring. And, you know, this is potential. Commitment, working in mission together with the three of pentacles. This is a sole mission you both have for some of you. Okay, wow, Aquarius. Pretty powerful reading, so I really feel we can do an extended and look deeper 
into this person's feelings. So in that reading, I'm going to look at blocks in the connection, how your person feels about you, the next move they may take in their life and then towards you, the 5D energies of this connection, and messages from your person to you. The link to that extended reading will be in the description box below if you're interested. Sending peace, love and light to you all.